All right, we've arrived here on campus here at the University of Houston. Big game tonight. Look at this. I got my four seats, Houston SMU. I can't wait to see the Cougars take on John Conkak and SMU. It's obviously a hot ticket. I need my elbow room, so we're actually going to use, only use two of these seats. But look at this. Hot game. Look at all the people, except for that guy. He's leaving. All the people that can't wait to get to the game. Look all the way around here. We got people that are lined up for miles. Look at all these cars. They can't wait to get inside Hoffman's Pavilion to see the Cougars take on the SMU ponies. This is going to be unreal, folks. Can't wait till we get inside. Come on with me. It's Guy B. Lewis at the bottom. You got the Cougar right here. There's our final fours. All the little trophies we got there. Unbelievable history. Play on over here and check out the wall of honor out here inside Offline's Pavilion. Look at our deluxe concessions there. Look at all the varieties we have. We have popcorn and drinks. That's unbelievable variety, folks. Popcorn and drinks. It's like the movie theater. Here's our wall of honor. You got Guy B. Lewis, obviously, coach here from 57 to 86. For some reason, the guy did not get in the Basketball Hall of Fame. An absolute travish mockery. Watch this. If you zoom in on Guy B., you can see how angry he is about not getting in the hall. Uh, uh, put me in the hall, please. Please put me in the hall. All right, let's walk down and see who else we got here. Here's Hakeem Olajuwon, although technically this poster is inaccurate because when he was at the U of H, he did not have his H. So let's move the camera over and make him the Akeem Olajuwon because when he was at U of H, his name was Akeem. So that's Akeem Olajuwon. Look at him. Look at that hair. Dream, Dream had the, a thick, luscious head of hair when he was at U of H. Unbelievable player. He, look at him. Oh my God, there he is downing John Conkak from SMU. Look at that. That was John Conkak, folks. The great John Conkak. All right, let's see who else we have here. Oh, look at that. Clyde the Glide Drexler. 1980 to 1983. Guy was pretty much inseparable from Akeem Olajuwon after then. First team All-American as a junior. Almost stole the ball against NC State at the end of the game to win a college basketball championship, but we don't hold that against him. We got Michael Young, arguably the sweetest mid-range jumper in college basketball history. Was also a number one draft pick of the Boston Celtics. Unfortunately, landed on the Celtics the same time Larry Bird and Kevin McHale was there, so he didn't really get to play in the league much. Uh, he's currently an assistant coach at U of H, and his son, Joseph, will be playing for U of H next year. Otis Birdsong. Look at that afro. That is outstanding, Otis. One of the greatest scorers in college basketball history. Also went on to a pretty good career in the ABA and the NBA as well. Welcome, Otis. Ken Spain. Who can forget Ken Spain? Well, me for one. I, I wasn't alive when Ken Spain was around, so I really couldn't tell you what he did. But obviously, let's see. He was a big time. All-American in 68. Uh, played with Elvin Hayes. Speaking of the Big E, there he is, 1965 to 1968. The Big E, Alvin Hayes, played in the game of century, took down Lou Alcindor, who of course became Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Big E, college basketball and pro basketball legend. Look at this, former Rocket head coach Don Chaney. Played in the backcourt on Big East teams. One of the all-time greats. Also had his jersey retired here at U of H. Oh, Gary Phillips. Of course. Who can forget Gary Phillips? Well, I can forget Gary Phillips. I don't know who Gary Phillips is either. No idea who Gary Phillips is. But you notice we don't have anybody retired since 1983. We basically have had no good basketball teams since 1983. And frankly, that's something that's got to change.
All right, we found our way to the uh, stands here. Uh, one small complaint to uh, Athletic Director Mac Rhodes for listening. It's the year 2011. Maybe we can accept credit cards to pay for concessions. I'm slightly embarrassed to say that I had to borrow a quarter for somebody to pay for this delicious hot dog and these unbelievable nachos and the Sprite between my legs. So uh, maybe, just maybe, we can update and get one credit card machine at, uh, here at Offline Spoon. I mean, after all, look at the clock over here. We got nine minutes and 20 seconds left before game time. And look at the unbelievable crowd we've got here. There are... I, I don't know. There's got to be at least 50 people in the building. The, people are so excited to see John Konkak and SMU return to take on by Slamma Jamma. I can't believe it. Look at this. I, let's, let's meet all the other people that are sitting on our own. Okay, now that we've done that, we should get ready and see how delicious this hot dog is. The University of Houston encourages and promotes good sports. Oh, wow. That's a very good hot dog. We'll be back with tip off after this. All right, we're ready for tip off here. Right here, 20 minutes to go in the second half. As you can see, capacity crowd. A lot of people in the stands here ready to go. I don't, I don't know where everybody is. There's nothing else on TV tonight. Why is everybody here? This is college basketball at its finest, folks. As you can see, they're heading for the exit here at Hall Fines. Cougars are getting their asses kicked at 62-47. to 47. And the ones and ones of people that were kind enough to show up for the game have decided with 3 minutes and 50 seconds left, they don't think that this version of my slam and jam has enough left in there. So they're going to go ahead and try to get home in time for Knott's Landing or Falcon Crest or whatever they're showing if this was 1983. It's a Brutal beating at the hands of the mighty ponies tonight for my beloved Cougs. But I, a real fan, will stay to the end. Final score from out here at Hoffine, 65 to 51. The beloved alma mater takes a beating. This was not pretty. This was as pretty as Lady Gaga, which is to say, not very pretty at all. You play a game like tonight, and it's not hard to answer why aren't more people coming to Hall Fines Pavilion. This was an awful, awful basketball game with absolutely no redeeming qualities. If I didn't love my school, I would not have come here. This was a tough one to swallow. It doesn't mean you shouldn't come out here, but man, an empty, old, decrepit building. You have to wonder if we can ever turn this thing around if we don't get a new building. But for now, Matt Jackson saying so long, and keep tuning in right here on Sports Talk 790, sports790.com.